channel it's your favorite village boy mr ghana baby and i'm back again with another video you know what i came to aqua safari to enjoy and i met man of god <laughs> i mean i mean man of god how long have you been watching my videos i've been watching your videos for close to a year wow yeah and your wife is so pretty yeah thank you very much it's the grace of god <laughs> tell me tell me your name who you are where you from and all that my name is reverend prophet Lawrence Asiedu, and we are in uk northamptonshire to be precise and uh, our church is based in northamptonshire oh okay yes and, um, what are you doing in ghana well actually i came to bury my mother um at transitions that was on saturday gone and we decided to come here and just relax um one of our spiritual children booked this place for us so we just decided to come and spend some time here wow yes and um is it your first time in ghana yes second time second time but 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 in 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 well over 20 years over 20 over years. 20 years you are visiting ghana for <laughs> yes, the first time yes. in 20 years yes yes why <laughs> because <laughs> the kind of things that people were telling me Ghana is this Ghana is that and what they show on the telly and stuff like that I I decided that I'm done with Ghana I mean don't get me wrong my brother is head of Stanley Investment Stanley Bank and my sister and my, my, my family all, all of them are here but I just decided that nah, I would never come here and also because I've got 18 medical conditions or oh, well that is what the doctors in Oxford Hospital say 18 medical conditions and so I was told that when you come to Ghana you know the, the health care is not that great so I was like no way but no the way. story is different now now it's yes way it is <laughs> yes way what, in capital letters what happened look the very air you breathe the very air the sun you know um i'd say this i'd say this i suffer from arthritis and and disquietus and stuff like that but black clots in the lungs and everything since i came to ghana i've never experienced one pain i've not even taken my medications wow. mm. not one i was telling my wife this morning not a single pain not a single pain it's healing. so ghana i'm definitely coming by god's good grace I mean, you're planning to move to Ghana next year. With the Maya, you'll be seeing more of us. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? I mean, you also wanted to say no way to Ghana. Me from the beginning, Ghana is a home. Nobody can change my mind on mm. Ghana. Nobody. Mm. Nobody. Anybody who tries to argue with me in Ghana, I'll fight with the person. <laughs> Nobody. I just love him. But he, he was saying that you've been forcing him to come to Ghana all the time. Yeah, and he says no, no, no. So I said to him that then I'm, I'm taking the leave and stay here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it got to that point. Yeah, but till he started looking at your program, watching your program, he says, do you know what? I'm coming with you. I said, I'm definitely really? coming to Ghana. If you didn't watch that video, like you're not coming. Yeah. yeah. So you mean you mean my videos? I've been you watching your videos, and it was yeah. because of your videos that why, that's why I'm in Ghana. So many videos. I remember an, a couple at their champions. I was like, we are definitely coming. I've, I've watched so many of them, so many of them, and I must commend you, you're doing a great job. You so you're much. doing such a great job. And I'll tell people who have that notion, that wrong notion about Ghana, to change their mentality. You're doing a great job, and we salute you. Ah, uh, no, let me salute you. <laughs> when I met him the first day, he was lying on the floor for me. Yes, like, yes, no, yes, yes, God, yes. No. This is Mr. No. Ghana, baby. You know, you know. <laughs> You know, we need to separate the anointing from the human being. Mm. So when I saw you, I was so excited. I couldn't believe what I was saying. That's why I had to lie down for you and give you all. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like? No, no, wait, wait, wait. I saw you. Uh, 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 I told no, the church members no, no. I'll do it for them. <laughs> God bless you for the good work you're doing. I was shouting like, she said, you're, you're a reverend minister, relax. I said, no, no, no. Take the anointing away from the human being. I've seen what Demaya, Mr. Ghana, and you have blessed us so much. Had it not been for you, I don't think I would have come to Ghana. Because all my consultants, consultants were telling me, don't come to Ghana. You know, but, but you know, God is, man is not God. Man is not God. And since we came, not a single pain. I've not taken medication. Man of God, you yes. know, there's so many people out there yeah. who think just like you, yeah. like, hey, I'm not going back, even though I was born in Ghana, mm. but Ghana 
no way i'm not going back again mm. so if you have a message to such people what would that message be well what do you want to say first what i would say <laughs> what i would say that go back to your root mm. Mm. go back to it because whatever is happening here mm. in ghana we were experiencing it when we were little yeah so what has changed what has is changed, it because yeah. we've traveled all over we've mm. traveled and we've seen the difference so mm. we now we have to abandon our country mm. this is this is who we are mm. yeah. we are Ghanaian, and there is nothing that will change that yeah. this is our roots when we are blessed yeah. to have all this but we don't appreciate it yeah. but remember you know when we're here we're using share butter and they think that the share butter is for the poor people mm. but guess what when we went out there we rather have to send the share butter we yeah. need it yeah and the black soap yes and the black soap we are dying for it. so what, what, what changes <laughs> You know, yeah. I, I was telling Trudy that in Ghana, black soap, I would yeah. say that people who don't have money to yeah. buy, yeah. like, I mean, the, yeah. the odd, yeah. other soap, yeah. the people who use black soap, yeah. who's like, are you kidding it's me? Changed. Yes. It's changed. But now look, when we came with black soap, oh, yeah. and a shy butter, that's what we're using it. Yes. And it's yes. good. Yeah. Very Over healthy. Over there, we are saying, anybody that, any anytime we come yeah. here and we're going, yeah. people are saying, oh, can you get me shy butter? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So why are you saying they're getting share butter from here? I, I just want yeah. to know what, what what is the difference, yeah, between life in Ghana and life in the UK? Oh why why do you want to? I mean, move back so badly? Oh because my god! Because a lot of us yeah. want to go and stay there, but you are there and you are trying to come back. I mean, can you tell us something that we don't know? The life in the UK is terrible. It's stressful. That's the word. It's stressful. Stressful. Because the difference between UK and here is UK. You can't even see your neighbor. You can't. Even if you see your neighbor, it's like they are sucking lemon. You put lemon in your mouth and even hello is an issue. But here, people are free. Yeah. Everybody say hello. Yeah. Even yeah. the pockets on the street, yeah. you make laugh of it. Yeah. They are happy. So how much yeah. that? You yeah. get there's nobody like that to even joke with. Yeah. Wow. Work home, work home. Yeah. What kind of lifestyle yeah, is that's that? That's no life. It's no life. God did not create us for such a life. Work home, no work way. home, work home. No way. And after all this working, the tax months will take it, will mm. take it away from mm. you and you come back to square one. Wow. But you come here and everybody is free. Whatever you is yours is yours here. But in the UK, even if you buy a house, it doesn't belong to you after you've paid the mortgage and yeah. it takes years to pay the mortgage. And life is so totally different. So for me, I was a doubting Thomas. Mm. But now I am more than Peter. <laughs> I believe Ghana so much. The very air you breathe is so fresh and relaxing. I mean, you wake up in the morning. I mean, for breakfast, there's popo. There's, you know, and in the UK, it's, it's, it's entirely different. You know, you're eating sausages, bacon. Not that you don't have it here, but that, that is not healthy food. It's one that way. is not healthy chips, food. Chips, 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 no, burgers, burgers, burgers. That's the only thing. I mean, to buy to buy fresh contumere is expensive back home, but here, oh my God, for all the doubting Thomases, please come back home. I tell you what the difference will make. You see, with that with that knowledge you've acquired from back from from back in the states or the UK, whatever, come back and let's make this place a better place. Wow. Yeah. Don't listen to anybody. Yeah. Come and see it for yourself. Yes. Don't listen and to don't anybody. Don't listen to anybody. Come yeah. and do listen, you know, come and see for yourself. And people who couldn't make it and they've gone back, that's the people that we are listening to. Mm. So don't listen to people who couldn't make it and they are listening because yeah. all fingers are not equal. Mm. Everybody have got their blessing somewhere. Mm. Wow. Mm. If they couldn't make it, that means you couldn't make it. Yeah, that, that don't mean, mean you yeah. couldn't make it. Yeah. So come and try and make it better. Learn from their experience, learn from their mistake and make yours better. This mm. is home. There is nothing. For me, I take, I, I take advice and I take, I take um, a lot. I learn a lot from you. You know, the program you're doing is touching a lot of lives out there. Believe me or not. You know, you don't need to be a reverend minister. You don't need to be a prophet, but you are touching a lot of lives. And I'm, number one, I'm a number one fan. You've touched my life. Because I'm not, had it not been for your programs, it would not be this story. <laughs> and, and, and next year, God willing, we're going to start a church here as well. Wow. We're going to start a branch here. Wow. 
Yes. I would definitely yes. visit. <laughs> yeah, when, when you're ready. You yes. Know. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for being Yes. The name of the church, True Worshippers Revival Ministries International. Mm. We're healing prophetic and deliverance ministry. Please, would you mind let them subscribe to our YouTube channel? Definitely. I'm going to put Please. a link to Thank you very much. Too. And I'll say to everybody, subscribe keep showing love to Wudemaya and to the media and please support his vision we need to learn to support our own please that is what the that is the difference between us the Ghanaians and the and the Easterners yes. the Westerners yes. they support their own let us support him for the work he's doing is a brilliant job mm -hmm. let's support the vision whether we can support in kind or whatever let us support financially whatever I will recommend Wudemaya to everybody <laughs> <laughs> and that is what I need to do. <laughs> so my that is what I need right to do. Now. Yes. But what of God, there is yes. something that I think I forgot yes. to ask you. You're telling me about 18 medical conditions. Yes. I think this is a testimony that I think you need yes. to tell people. Yes. What really happened to you, man? So basically, in in 2011, um, I I had a brain tumor, um, and the doctors gave me a month to live. That was in December. So my father travelled all the way from Ghana to come and bury me. But you see, man is not God. Man is not God. So it is 2020, nine years on, I'm alive. Wow. And I'm doing the work of God. In 2014, I went blind because of diabetes and sickle cell disease. And also the tumor was pressing on my optic nerves. So I lost my eyesight for four months. Doctor said I won't be able to see again. Mm. But he, he, here we are. I can see handsome, very handsome man. <laughs> I can see very beautiful lady, wow. Trudy. And... I went paralyzed, you know, 80 medical conditions. Even coming back, the doctor said, don't come because we're worried something would happen to you. Because the least infection will trigger everything. 80 medical conditions. But I thank God that God is God all by himself. And it is not what man will say, but it is what God says. And God has healed me. And I'm, I've come to Ghana. I'm coming to settle in Ghana. And I look forward to helping you do what you're doing. God bless you. God bless you too, man. God bless God. you. And thank you so much for talking. Thank you so much. God bless <laughs> you. God bless you. God bless you.